What's up everybody? It's Amy here from Amy's Art Alchemy. Welcome back to my channel, the place to go to for tips, tricks, tutorials, and all things art related. So today's Friday, so that means I have another Feature Friday Artist Spotlight episode to share with you. Today's featured artist is my friend from Florida, Martha Avela. You can find Martha over on Instagram at mustlovejunk, and I'll be sure and put all of her links in the description box below. Martha has been a member of our A3 ATC SWAT group since our very first SWAT back in February. She's an amazing artist. She also loves paper crafting, all kinds of crafts, photography, cooking, beach combing, reading, and she also has a used bookshop over on Instagram. So I'll be sure and put that link in the description box below. So I've got so many amazing things to share with you that she has created. So I'm just going to flip the camera around and get started. So as I mentioned, Martha first started our A3 ATC swap group back in the beginning of February. So this was our very first swap and the first cards that she sent to me. And I love these. I love how she repurposed playing cards and I love that she chose the hearts and Valentine's theme. And I love when people repurpose things. So I was very excited to see these. She also did something similar for the March swap, except this time she went with the St. Patrick's theme and it had the most beautiful green lace at the bottom. That was something that really stood out on these cards. And I love how she used the playing cards again and created these. What I love most about her April cards were the fact that she used corrugated cardboard. I love the corrugated cardboard and I love how she added it in the little tag at the bottom with the word as the embellishment and then just topped it off with a little button. I love how she put those pieces together. These are her May cards and I don't know what it is with my obsession of the corrugated cardboard. I think it's the texture but I love these just as much. I love how it has the little butterflies. It gives the 3D dimension. I love how she just changed them all up just enough and just alternated the layers, how she added the little bead in the center of the butterfly and all the extra dimension that it gives. I, I love these so much. And then she is also so sweet to always include an extra ATC for me. So I'm always excited when I see that and I get to have one of these beautiful ATCs hanging in my art studio. These were the ATCs that just went out with our June swap and I gotta admit I was extremely nervous mailing these out because they had such beautiful shells at the bottom of them and I was so worried that they were going to get crushed being mailed but I believe that they ended up making it to their destination safely so I was excited about that. I think these were absolutely gorgeous. She used some of her favorite colors, the pink and turquoise and then I love the little texture wash behind the seahorse. I think this just gives so much dimension and the depth between the shells and the seahorse with that textured pattern. So not only is she participating in the A3 ATC swap group, she's also doing the index card a day challenge that's been going around on Instagram. And I love seeing what she comes up with every day. I think her use of color is just absolutely beautiful. I love how she uses her doodling to create just the different shapes and art marks and you just find your own kind of style and I love that art can be a form of so many different things. It can be from doodling to painting to drawing to paper crafts to you name it. It is all a form of art in my eyes as well as photography and that's something else that she loves and I can see that just by seeing the color patterns and things that she chooses. She definitely has an eye for art. This has definitely become a signature style of Martha's and I love it. She just took her love for doodling and it kind of became a meditative process. And she just does all these squiggly lines and then just does the little art marks in the middle of it. And when you have a big piece of it, it really looks like a map. And it's so cool how she just fills it in with the watercolor paper and all the different art marks. So on this one, she had already been doing it several times. And so she created 
a big piece of it and filled the entire piece full. And with a big piece of these beautiful things, of course, comes some amazing artist trading cards coming my way. So I'm excited to see these. I love all the different lines and details in the art marks in these. I just think I know anytime I see this, I will know right away that this is Martha's art. And I absolutely fell in love with this index card that she created using the paper quilling technique. I love the bright green and I love all the little swirls. It just makes me think of like a whimsical garden and I love how she put this together. It was just so bright and beautiful and I love the style. Aside from these type of crafts, I love how she repurposes things. And here she repurposed a whole bunch of old magazines and created coasters. And I've been wanting to try that myself because who doesn't need extra coasters laying around their art studio? And they're so beautiful and it definitely is going to remind me to do that. Another thing that automatically makes me think of Martha is beads. Martha loves to use beads. She loves to create paper beads. And every time I see beads, I think of her so much so that I came across some beads the other day and had to mail them to her because she creates the most beautiful things with these. And if you haven't ever made paper beads, they can be kind of time consuming and your fingers can cramp up. But if you put your time into it, you can create some beautiful beads and then just changing up the papers that you use and how you wind them they can just create some different effects and i love how she put this together and created the heart showing her love for beads so here she used not only her paper beads but also some of her bead collection and created this beautiful wall hanging for her home and i love how she put this together and showed her love and passion for using beads i thought it was just absolutely beautiful so if you can't tell by now, I absolutely love Martha's eye for art. I love everything that she creates, and I love that she loves beachcombing. That is something I've always wanted to do, but living in West Texas, that just isn't available for me. But I love that she was able to go out and gather these beautiful items of nature and put this together in this beautiful art piece. I just think it came together so beautifully, and I love how she used her eye for design and her passion for beachcombing and combined the two together to create this beautiful art piece. So that's all I have for you today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed today's Artist Spotlight episode of My Friend Martha. Be sure and head on over to her links in the description box below and show her some love. If you are interested in learning more about our Artist Trading Card Swap Group, head on over to my Instagram and just leave me a message and I'll be sure and message you back with all the details. It is a monthly international swap where artists from all over the world just come together and share the same passion for art. And it has become so much more where members have turned into such amazing friends. So that's all I have for you today, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. And we will talk to you all very soon. As always, happy crafting.